hey what's going on folks i was gonna make like a big long explanation video of how to fix this but i'm sure most of you don't want to hear that um i have the 2011 early 2011 macbook pro and it had the pink screen and all that shit and it would crash and and then it wouldn't come on for days at a time so i sent it off to get it fixed and it came back and it did the same thing so to make the, sh the story short uh i found a temporary fix now this will work but it's obviously not a hardware fix um but it will work because it's been working for me and my computer works perfect uh the problem is you have a dual i mean some of you guys already know this but i'm just saying this for the people that don't know you have a dual gpu and the amd is a piece of shit so what you got to do is you got to stop the amd from uh from being selected now if you're like me and your computer won't boot up like if it's just stuck on the boot screen that was my problem you're gonna have to heat up your computer now this sounds retarded but just listen what I done was I stuck my I, I turned on a little space heater and I stuck my computer up there until the case got really fucking hot like not like don't fuck your shit up don't put it next to the the screen do it on the bottom but what it does is once it gets hot, uh, Apple's got some kind of thing where it reverts back to the Intel chip or whatnot, the GP, uh, the Intel graphics card. Forgive me, it's two o'clock in the morning, <coughs> and this is a shitty quality video, so don't hate. But it's going to revert back to the Intel chip. Now, as soon as it does that, you need to open your computer up, go straight to Google. And download this program here. Shit. GFX card status. But you got to make sure you get the old version. This is version 2.0.1. If you get the updated one, the newest one, I believe it's 2.3, it's not going to work. That's the problem a lot of people have. It's not going to work. So, anyways, you got to download this program. And once you open it up, come on here and set your shit up like me. Make sure you select integrated on the power settings. Make sure you load it on startup. Okay. And you're going to have to do this twice because for some reason it doesn't work the sec uh, first time. You have to like confirm settings. Okay. So what you do is you make sure you have integrated, right? And then once you do that, do it again just to make sure because mine switched back uh, one time. It's never done it since, but it did the, the first and second time. So, you see where it says Intel graphics? Because now it's not using that piece of shit no more, and my computer works fine. And that's exactly what you got to do. Now, it worked for me. Hopefully, it'll work for you guys. Um, you know, until, until there's a, a more permanent fix. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, hold on one other thing just to make sure what I done was I went on energy saver and I turned off uh, the sleep mode don't want your shit to go into sleep mode and then where it says automatic graphic switching uncheck that bullshit too because you don't you don't need all that unnecessary dumb shit and you should be fine um, you know, my computer is working perfectly for the moment. You know, knock on fucking wood. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll I'll make an update video and maybe a week or two. And yeah, if any, you have any questions, just send me a message or comment. Talk to y'all later. Peace.